the VCR, and have I got one for the historians today, for the true fans of cartoon art, for those who appreciate the silent film. This is Oswald Rabbit. The Lucky Rabbit, they called him as he hopped onto the screen in 1927, during the era where Felix the Cat and Coco the Clown had become household names. All of us cartoon lovers already know this story. Oswald was the original Disney character, created before Mickey Mouse, but after the Alice comedies. Walt Disney, along with Ub Iwerks and his brother Roy, created Oswald for contributor Margaret Winkler, until her husband Charles Mintz took over the business and basically stole Oswald from Walt. I tell you, it was difficult to find an Oswald on a public domain tape, mainly because these are marketed towards kids and these are silent films. But I did manage to dig one up. This is The Mechanical Cow. Mechanical Cow? Is that anything like a mechanical bull? <coughs> yeah, mule! <coughs> So Ozzy stops off to meet up with his girlfriend. But, uh-oh, I have a feeling there's going to be some villainy in this picture. And sure enough, here they come, in a taxi cab. Wow, well, I didn't know villains came in taxis back then. And what are these things, anyway? I, I don't really get what they're supposed to be. Is that Bigfoot? I kidnap you. Oh, I get it. It's Charles Mintz. These guys are so villainy that when the door opens for them, they get in on the other side. Yeah, <laughs> take that. So Ozzy and his mechanical bull are off to the rescue. He's got to save the girl from Alex, Bobby, Tony, and Nardo. I thought Harry Canyon's taxi was packing. Either that or these are supposed to be the Libyans from Back to the Future. The cartoon ends in a dramatic, death-defying scene over a cliff. And coming up is probably one of the most gruesome death scenes from silent movie era. And by the way, doesn't this whole scene remind you of something? <laughs> the Oswalds are mine! You betrayed our works. <laughs> so Ozzy and his girl get away safely, hop on top of the mechanical cow, and ride off into the distance. And that was an Oswald short. Sure, it's underrated nowadays, like a good Buster Keaton or a Charlie Chaplin, but for the time, they were fun and they were entertaining. Now here's a little karma for you. Sure, Mintz pulled the rug out from Walt, but Universal ended up pulling the rug out from Mintz. Universal then gave the job to Walter Lance to direct the rest of the cartoons through the 30s. It ain't gonna rain no more. My, 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 it's gonna be dry cause it ain't gonna rain no more. Rumor has it, Walter Lance actually asked Disney's permission to continue the films. Disney ended up giving him his blessing. During that time, Oswald went through the strangest evolutionary changes. He went from this, to this, to this. <laughs> Talk about Lando Calrissian turning into U.S. Marshal Gerald. But here's where it gets interesting. In 2006, nearly 80 years after the scandal, the Disney company bought back Oswald in the original shorts from Universal. That means that you can get a Mickey Mouse tape and a Woody Woodpecker tape and they could both have Oswald shorts on them. That's amazing. It's too bad they couldn't do that with other characters. As far as the character of Oswald, last year was the release of a new Wii game called Epic Mickey. 
This was Oswald's official animated return, and all I can say about it is it really lives up to the word epic. Now that's a happy ending for a character made by a company that's not exactly well known for their happy endings. Here, Yeller. Say hi to Bambi's mom. And Simba's dad. And the lightning bug from Frog Princess. And that operatic whale. Okay, they get the point. So what's the future of Oswald? How about a ride in Disney World? The Trolley Trouble Ride? It could be like Mr. Toad. Or how about a television show? The Bunny Ears Hour. Yeah, I know, I know. Kids won't get this reference. Whatever the return will be, Oswald's legacy will go down in cartoon history. Sure, Mickey brought us the cartoon stardom. He was the Ronald Reagan, the Orson Welles, the Frank Sinatra. But Oswald, he was the underdog. He was the Rudy Rudiger. He was the Rocky Balboa. He was Gloria Swanson from Sunset Boulevard. And Mr. Disney, he is ready for his close-up. This is Waddle from Watch Waddle saying, thanks for watching.